Thousands of island residents spent the day looking for work at an annual job fair, but many island businesses are looking for relief from a looming tax that could put more employees out of work. KITV 4's Paul Drews has more in tonight's Project Economy report. Over 5,000 job seekers came out to turn in their resumes, fill out applications, and find out who is hiring. Would I be able to leave my resume with yes. you? Including Lil Monter, who is looking to change careers after being downsized in the title industry. It hasn't been easy. It's very competitive. There's more people being laid off. And yes, um, I've been a little bit frustrated because you're overqualified. For employers, so many trying for only a few jobs means even experienced workers are turning to entry-level positions. While thousands are here looking for employment, some companies have noticed not all potential workers are looking for full-time jobs. There's actually more people looking for part-time, so they want to supplement their income. But as prospective employees look for their big break into a business, employers are bracing for a big increase in their unemployment tax. That could possibly lead to even more unemployment. Last year, companies on average paid $90 for every employee into the unemployment fund. But this year, they'll have to pay nearly $1,000 more for every full-time worker. Some worry businesses will cut employees to make up for the additional cost. If this tax increase skyrockets like it is anticipated tenfold, it likely means additional cuts, probably one per dealership. And if there's 60 dealerships, that's an additional 60 people. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island Television News. Now that money in the fund goes to pay unemployed workers benefits, the governor has promised to take action on this important issue very soon. But if a measure isn't passed by mid-March, the tax rate will take effect retroactive to the start of 2010.